Tarboro is one of North Carolina's few colonial towns. Its history dates to the early 18th century and it was incorporated as a town and county seat of Edgecombe County in 1760. Tarboro is probably, in my opinion, one of the most perfect and beautiful small towns in America. I think one of the significant things about the town is its history and the fact that it has done one of the best jobs in the state in preserving its history. If you come to Tarboro, you'll very quickly see why the town is so significant. It was originally an inland port. The river used to have steamboats on it. People would bring in their uh, agricultural goods, cotton and tobacco to Tarboro to be shipped out through the Tar River and Pamlico River. Tarboro is a wonderful, livable community. You see a lot of communities trying to establish, such as even brand new communities, uh, the principles of new urbanism and walkable communities and livable communities, self-sustaining communities. Tarboro has always been that way. One of the things I'd like to talk to you about is Tarboro's history, uh, and especially give you some sort of idea of the wonderful local historic district in Tarboro. In 1976, Tarboro's progressive leadership established uh, a 45 block historic district that surrounds downtown Tarboro. It is one of the largest historic districts and most beautiful historic districts in North Carolina. Tarboro is very fortunate to have two national trails that have been designated in the past few years. One is the Colonial Tarboro National Historic Recreational Trail, which was established by the U.S. Department of the Interior. And there are signs on U.S. 64 to guide tourists into the town. And you can go to the Thomas Blunt House or the Blunt Bridges House and pick up brochures which show you the trail, tell you all about the houses, and guide you through the historic district. Tarboro has a very wide range of architectural styles. The house that you see now is probably one of the best examples in the town of Queen Anne Victorian architecture at the turn of the century. One of the best examples in Tarboro of federal style architecture. It was built in 1808. Tarboro is very unique in that it has an original town common. It's been said that it's one of only two in the United States with the other being in Boston. The town common is a place of beauty, just enormous beauty, lined by historic homes. It's a place where people entertain or have fun. They sit and they listen to the symphony. Uh, they have picnics, they read. It's just a remarkable open space that dates from the 18th century. On the western end of the town common, Tarboro also is, is lucky to have the only surviving restored cotton press in North Carolina. It's significant in that that is the massive piece of equipment that was used to press cotton into bales so that it could be exported. And this cotton press is an outstanding example of that part of our history. Thank you for letting me share with you some of Tarboro's local history. And I really hope that you come and see us and experience this wonderful southern town.